Okay, uh, so welcome to my online tutorial. Um, I'm going to start off with the addition mechanism. Okay, um, I think this was a question just Sharon asked me to go over. So I look at this first. Um, firstly, when we talk about organic chemistry, we talk about five main reaction types. We have substitution, addition, Elimination, redox, which is oxidation and reduction, and reactions as acids. Within this, we need to know two mechanisms, okay? Substitution, free radical, which I think everyone is, is fairly okay on. And then addition, which is um, another mechanism, and it's called ionic addition. And when we talk about addition... It is um, when two molecules combine to form a single molecule. Okay, so what we'd be looking at here really, and when we're asked for this mechanism, it'd always be with an alkene. So we're looking at ethene here, adding hydrogen. And when I add that, I get rid of the double bond and I end up with ethane. Otherwise, I can have a look at, again, double bond here, and you could use hydrogen chloride or Cl2. We'll use Cl2, and that produces 1,2-dichloroethane. And again, if you look here, when we have our two molecules combining, the, do the double bonds in each end up becoming single bonds over here. Okay, so that's 1, 2 dichloroethane and what we have to look at here is how that actually happens okay and we have four steps okay the first step is called polarization okay second step then that we have is called heterolytic Fission, and anything fission means to split or break up. Third step then we have is what's called the carbonium ion formation. Finally then we have our attack on the carbonium ion. Okay, so we'll just go back here to polarization. And I have uh, my C double bond C here. Okay. And within this C double bond here, there's a high concentration of negative charge. And I'm going to use bromine here. Okay. And that high concentration of negative charge causes my bromine which is br2 to become polarized now when we talk about polarized what does that mean it means remember when we've looked at um our polar covalent and our non-polar covalent it means my br one is going to take on a slightly negative charge here and one is going to take on a slightly positive charge here. So that's what the word polarized means. And all that is done because within this C double bond here, I have a high concentration of a negative charge. So now what happens actually is that the induced polarization, okay, and it's called induced because it is caused by the high concentration of negative charge in this ethene here. So the induced polarization is so great that it actually causes the BR slightly positive over here and slightly negative charges to actually split and it splits them into BR plus and BR minus. Okay. So that's what happens with my induced polarization. 
Now, if we look here, I have this high concentration of negative charge in my C double bond. I have a positively charged, which uh, this now is essentially an ion. OK, so as with our basic rules, our opposite charges attract. So the Br plus is then going to attract to the C double bond C of which there is a high concentration of negative charge. So what we end up with being formed is something called the carbonium ion. So what happens is that my Br plus attacks in here and when it attacks in here it takes away one of the double bonds. So what I end up with now is I end up with C. Okay. I have one, two, and then this is my Br plus. Then one of my double bonds is gone. Okay. And I have a H here and a H here. Now with bromine, um, because bromine is a big ion or a big compound, this actually forms a cyclic bromonium ion. Okay, so it can bromonium ion. Okay, so it causes this here to become a cyclical shape. Now, if I remember from my heterolytic fission, my Br plus attacks the carbonium or the carbon in my ethene and I still have a Br minus here left over. Okay, so what happens then? Again, my Br minus is going to attack this molecule and when it attacks this molecule, I still have my C, my Br pl plus, my C, my two H's and my Br attracts in here. Okay. So my Br, okay, here my Br minus is going to attack this to create, and this is 1, 2, di, bromo, ethane. Okay, and that is the mechanism there for that reaction. Okay, um, so this is attack on the carbonium ion, which is pretty much as um, you would suggest. Just here, um, if we would be using chlorine, we would not end up with this happening. OK, um, this only happens because bromine here, Br, is such a big molecule. OK, so the exact same mechanism holds true, just it would not be a cyclical ion. OK, so just to bear that in mind. Final thing then that we'll have a look at is our evidence. Okay, and when we're looking at the evidence, we're looking at a few things here. Firstly, we are going to react ethene with bromine water. And it is in sodium chloride, NaCl. And the products that we get really show that we have the carbonium ion. Okay, remember the carbonium ion when it's formed, as it is up here, okay? It is a positively charged ion, okay? So that's what we're going to be concerned with down here, okay? So we have our evidence here. So firstly, we're going to look at it with bromine water, okay? So if I have my carbonium ion, it looks with the C, with a H, a Br, a C with a positive charge, and then two H's. So if I look at Br minus, that will attach into it. And when it attaches into it, it is going to make one, two, Br, Br. So one, two, di, bromo, ethane. 
that's the first product. Okay. Secondly, again, I'll draw my carbonium ion. And this time, I am concerned with the NaCl. Okay, and remember the NaCl is split up into two ions uh, when it's in solution, Na plus Cl minus. So what happens is that that Cl minus attacks this positive carbonium ion. And again, that product is 1 bromo, 2 chloro, ethane. Remember ethane because it's lost the double bond. And when you're naming them, you always name in alphabetical order. So that's why the B is named before the C. Okay. And finally, again, here I have one, two, and then my C with my BR, my positive carbonium ion here. And the one we're looking at up here then is in water. Okay. And water, when it's in solution, splits into H plus and OH minus. So again, if I look at what product is formed here, my OH minus is now what attacks my carbonium ion. So I have C, Br to C to OH. And the presence of this OH group changes it into ethanol. Remember this is going to be my first carbon because it has my OH. So for that reason, then it is two bromo ethanol. That is the mechanism and evidence of addition. Any questions post underneath. Thank you.